Hi, everybody. It is April 18, 2018. You guys in and around Sacramento, Sacramento County, American River is contaminated with E. coli. Interesting that they have found very high levels of E. coli in February and March. So I hope that this is not the first you're hearing of this, but these high levels of E. coli have been found in 9 of 11 sites. Yes, it's above EPA levels. The contamination at Discornia Beach and Discovery Park Steelhead Creek were particularly abhorrent, according to the Central Valley Water Board. So, no one has become sick from this, and E. coli is often caused by fecal contamination. So, are they putting sewage in your rivers? Are they putting sewage in the rivers all over the world? Because the world's rivers are quite contaminated with pharmaceuticals and sewage and other chemicals and pesticides. It's a great way to take over control of our water supply. Oh boy. So, um, the health impact. Symptoms. You can get symptoms within a day or a week. Diarrhea, which can range from mild and watery to severe and bloody. Abdominal cramping, pain or tenderness, nausea and vomiting in some people, and things that you should not do. You can click on the link if you are someone who doesn't know that you shouldn't swallow river water or swim when you're sick or cook or wash dishes with river water or change diapers in or near river water. Don't enter the rivers after a significant rainstorm because that's when bacteria levels spike. Don't jump into the water with open cuts, open sores. Okay, um, did you know that you're about to be hit with a water tax? Despite almost uniform opposition from California water agencies, major water associations, and 73% of Californians, Governor Brown and the state legislature is pushing forward with a new water tax. It was formerly in SB 623, but I guess, I guess opposition to this got loud, so they moved it into your budget trailer bill. Ah. You know, when these government officials have an agenda, they do a lot of shady manipulation to get that agenda, um, to get it successful, to, to, yeah, I want what I want when I want it. And I don't care if I destroy Californians in the process. The water tax starting at 95 cents per month for the base three-quarter meter, up to $10 for large and multiple, multiple meters. So there's roughly $100 million in new revenue to be generated by this tax will be directed to fix water supply, quality, and system issues in roughly 325 small water systems all over California. Taxes are so high. What are they doing with that money? that they can't seem to even give residents clean water. I will link below to this site, Free Drinking Water, a Water Pollution News, California's unsafe tap water, and it has an awful lot of articles here that, unfortunately, the hyperlink does not link to the actual article. It brings you to their site, to articles that have been posted in the LA Times and um, Sacramento Bee. But uh, this one has a date. Good. April 26, 2011. Most of the articles that I was clicking on, you couldn't find any dates. But 
just because it's 2011, don't think that bottled water that you are paying money for is not contaminated. Nearly 70% of Californians drink bottled water. That was in 2011. It's seven years now. How many Californians are drinking bottled water now? Uh, it's a nationwide $6 billion industry, but much of the bottled water you're drinking, you're paying for, Nestle's, Pepsi, all of these corporations. And do you think that they're listing all of the substances that they're putting in that water? No. No. And anybody who wants to leave a comment saying I'm paranoid, you're only paranoid when people are not out to get you. Okay? So, do some research and you will learn that local, state, federal government officials, a whole lot of them are not doing their job. So, at the very least, they're negligent and stupid. And at the very uh, worst, they're evil. So, and that unfortunately is the case. And we know that our water supply, well, it's been taken over and it will go private. And we will have to pay extraordinary amounts for that water. And so many are already paying extraordinary amounts. But study finds traces of 40 chemicals and 20 pesticides in our drinking water, yet claims these contaminants pose no health risk, and it's not true. Yeah, standards, government standards, uh, government levels, they raise a lot of these standards, uh, the levels, um, arbitrarily. Or when we're getting flooded with too many chemicals or radiation, they just raise the levels. you got to do research to find that out because people have posted videos on it. I have posted videos on it. And you know what? I cannot prove everything I say in one video. Water Pollution News, California's Unsafe Tap Water, Los Angeles Times. So this unsafe water, that it's not just in California, it is all over, um, has been going on for a very long time. Wow, I guess state governments, local government, they just can't seem to figure out how to give us clean water. This is... Uh, where is this? County of Santa Cruz, April 16, 2018, current water quality status, degraded water quality due to recent rains in all of these beaches, Twin Lakes, State Beach, Sunny Cove Beach, Morin Lake Beach, Capitola Beach, both east and west of Jetty, uh, New Brighton State Beach, Seacliff State Beach had elevated bacteria levels, all other beaches are fine. All other beaches are fine. <sighs> Boy, what are we going to do? I guess, I guess not much since we don't have enough Americans to get out of their lazy zombie, I don't know, trance. Oh, fear and fury in Michigan town where Air Force contaminated water. April 11, 2018. Some residents can't drink the water or eat the fish. Now they're organizing. Okay, good. I'm not going to read all of this. Um, I do want to point out, and I will link below to everything, so you guys in Michigan, uh, in this area, Unfortunately, your water is unsafe. I do want to say that I believe it's in Oscoda, Michigan. Oscoda. It is the base is Worth Smith Air Force Base. Yes, they have a fire training site, and well, chemicals used at that site have contaminated nearby groundwater, rivers, and lakes. Now, I will link below to everything. 
Water crisis debunked in three minutes. Deborah Tavares, primary water. What is primary water? There's an awful lot of water down below, underground. And they don't tell the public that. No, because they need everybody to believe that there's a water crisis. Well, there is a water crisis. The water that people know that is on earth, like in rivers and lakes, well, it's all contaminated. Oh my God. So we have a water crisis and we're running out of clean water. And how are we to, how are we to hydrate? the planet's people, if we don't have water to do that. Yeah, they want to scare the crap out of everybody. Well, primary water, underground, and we could have access to it, but they don't want you to know about it because that would give us clean water. And that would destroy the water crisis narrative. In fact, the great man-made river project, Libya, Gaddafi built one of, like, the world's wonders, this aquifer from underground water, and he allowed the people in Libya to drink fresh, <laughs> fresh, clean water. What did the U.S. military do? We bombed it. We destroyed it. It was a network of pipes that supplies water from the Sahara Desert in Libya, from the Nubian, Nubian, I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, sandstone aquifer system, fossil aquifer. Some sources cite it as the largest engineering project ever undertaken. The Guinness World Records 2008 book has acknowledged this as the world's largest irrigation project. And according to its website, it is the largest underground network of pipes and aqueducts in the world, consisting of more than 1,300 wells, most more than 500 miles deep, supplying, supplying 6,500,000 M3s. Well, you're going to have to, you're going to have to Google M3. Oh, Christ, hang on. Oh, it's meter cubed, and I know, I said, oh, Christ, so oh, more Christians will unsub me. Um, but it supplied fresh water per day to the cities of Tripoli, Benghazi, Sert, uh, and elsewhere. And we blew it up. We destroyed it. Oh, well, sorry, Libyans, you don't get to have clean water anymore. That's right. Yeah, we're so humanitarian. Makes me so sick. Well, we do have pharmaceuticals in the water supply, so if you're feeling bad, drink some tap water. That way you'll get some antidepressants or opiates or some other kind of some other kind of medication. 2008, the Associated Press found an array of pharmaceuticals from painkillers to antibiotics to mood stabilizers in the drinking water of 24 major metropolitan water suppliers. Great. And let's see, in 2008, uh, we found more, but the Potomac River may look normal at first glance, but many of the Potomac's, Potomac, Potomac's male bass are producing eggs. Wow. And similar intersex fish are being found in rivers across the country. Scientists, they're baffled. They have yet to pinpoint the cause of this mutation could be that those pharmaceutical medications, many of them are endocrine disruptors, which means that their biological processes regulated by hormones, 
such as growth, development, and reproduction, gets affected. Endocrine disruptors, pesticides, herbicides, glyphosate. It's not just pharmaceutical drugs that they're finding in rivers. It's the pesticides and herbicides, glyphosate. We're destroying all that sustains life here on Earth. Any great rivers worldwide threatened by pharma waste. Study April 10, 2018. Worldwide. Oh, it's because people are flushing their unwanted medications down the toilet? Is that what people do? Really? A large part of the freshwater ecosystems is potentially endangered by the high concentration of pharmaceuticals. You know, what is the pharmaceutical companies, what are they doing with their waste? So many corporations are dumping waste into rivers. So I don't think it's just ordinary people flushing them down the toilet. I think this is known, so most people probably don't. They throw it away. Oh, but they have to have these programs, government programs, where you turn in your medications because you don't know how to dispose of your medications. So you turn them into the government. They know everything that you don't know. You turn them into the government. What could that be about? Do they turn around and resell them? Do they turn around and give them to pharmaceutical companies so that they can resell them? Do they want to know exactly who is not taking their medication? I don't know. But something is up with that, those state programs where you can turn your unused medication into police departments because you just don't know anything anymore. You're just a useless eater that is so stupid that you need government to handle everything, all aspects of life, because you, you just can't. You can't figure anything out. All links are below.